Welcome to my oh, my squeaky my squeaky floorboard. Let's move. Let's scooch. Let's scooch. Okay, that's better. Hi, welcome to a moment in time with Taylor. Am I off? Am I off center a bit? Okay, welcome to a moment in time with Taylor. Thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to check out the website, femyoga.com. F E M Y O D A. Dot com. Brianna, thank you for the super hearts. First super hearts of the broadcast. Ah! Hello, YouTube. Thank you, 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 and thank you all of you for making this show possible by clicking support on the menu in the on the website and supporting the channel. Remember, if you sign up for monthly sponsorships, you can be entered to win $100 on September 17th, 2018, and every 17th of the month after that. Great guy, hi! All right, who was the first comment to the broadcast? Who was it? Today we're gonna be doing, talking about vocabulary, and I'll tell you why in a second. Moo, Eric, it was you, you were first. Hey, Lise, and then Lise, and Lise is going to YouTube. Thank you, thank you so much. Please don't be in love with me. RD, first comment to the broadcast on YouTube. Nobody has said anything yet on Twitch, so if you comment on Twitch, you'll be the first comment and you'll get a shout out, although I do read all the comments, so. Hey Prashant, what's up? It was still raining, so I didn't actually go get the coffee table out of my trunk, but I will do it probably tomorrow, as long as it doesn't rain all day, which I don't think it will. We're gonna be getting that coffee table and we're going to kick its butt, AKA assemble it on this broadcast. So follow me if you like to see people assemble furniture. So this broadcast was inspired by the book that I'm currently reading called 30 Days to a More Powerful Vocabulary. I am on day 10. Hey, Palm Spring, <laughs> or should I say Zephyr? Hey, Advice Ontario. Hey, I'm gonna be in Toronto um, in just like two weeks or less. Excited about the weirdest things these days, but hey, I got really excited about the garbage can from Steve. I'm excited about the coffee table from you. I'm excited about the ladder from Donna. Donna, I'm excited about that lamp from Ed. Hey, Mark. I don't actually have that big jug anymore. I have this. Cheers. All right, so this book makes the argument that if you work for someone, chances are that your boss has a more expansive vocabulary than you do, meaning they know more words. They use more words. They're better with communication. I'm dropping frames. What the hell? Why does my microphone seem so loud too? All right, turn the mic down a bit and decrease the bit rate. Why do I keep dropping frames? I don't understand. Is it just too much going on on my computer? Hello, Lise. Thanks for being on YouTube. Well, I don't know. We dropped 348 frames. We're going to try to keep going. Pick them up. Pick up the frames. Pick them up. I see you, Bugs. Hi. A wordsmith. Yeah, so you're, the higher-ups in the companies are typically more verbose. They have more words that they that they have at their fingertips at their disposal in their minds ready to go and they can communicate more clearly and use more powerful vocabulary as well you're good with words but bad at unusual big words yeah and there's going to be some words that we talk about today that are words you may have never heard of before and you may never use them so if there's a word that's like a cool word but it has no relevance to your life just leave it don't worry about it in this book, they say, you know, sometimes you'll find a word that seems really interesting. Oh, you'll look it up, and then it's some kind of very specific medical condition, and really, when are you going to use it? So we're looking for words that we can use in conversation. I've been using a lot of these words since I started reading this about 10 days ago, and in my last broadcast, everyone was asking me to do a broadcast about vocabulary. So I'm glad. Hey, Dino or Dino. Um, Bugs, these are our sponsors from the last 30 days of the channel. Higher ups have good words, <laughs> spelled with Z's. <laughs> Plus watched hours, thank you, Eric. Yeah, everyone who's watching on YouTube right now is helping me get closer to monetizing the YouTube channel, so I appreciate that. Prashant, thank you for the super hearts. Fem Yoga is this channel. So let's dive right in, shall we? It's a 30-day course. I got this from my grandma, so it's kind of an old book. Some of the words might not be as common nowadays as they used to be, but still a good one. So it says to take about 15 minutes a day. Yeah, oh, yes. Ah, uh, honey, honey, mm, 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 mm. you are my candy girl. Hi, Juan. Welcome to Periscope. You're gonna love it here. All right, all right, all right. The first chapter is a test. So you test your verbal skills. Now, I this is a little bit of a cheat because we did do this by the pool the other day 
Florida. I assume Florida, but I don't really know for sure. I have two songs in my head, The Wheels on the Bus and This Is Me. Oh my god, RD, This Is Me has been stuck in my head all day today. I was singing it in my last broadcast and now it's officially back in my head. Thank you very much. I've tried to listen to other uh, songs, but now you just got it right back in my head. Eric says he only has four devices going right now. <laughs> okay, so let's do the test really quick. You guys can type your answers into the comments or you can you can write your, if you, if, this might be better if you actually write your answers down because then at the end you can actually grade yourself and see what category you fall within. Hey, you're trying to find me on YouTube? It's Fem Yoga. Hey, Matthew. I think you've been on my YouTube before, Mark. Did we drop another frame? This is BS. I'm singing tonight? I don't think so. Maybe that's why, maybe because Egg Drop was like eating all my data okay ready all right, let me give you 10 seconds to go get a, a pen and paper because that's enough time I used Google Docs I just typed it into my Google Doc you could use a notepad and Ruby's gonna be live in 53 minutes so we better hurry up let me go faster I'm drinking red flag amber ale with honey added by Trouble Brewing. 4.5% alcohol per volume. Oh, Dan, yes, right in the sand. I love that idea. I love that, I love that, I love that. Moo, Eric, oh, that's so, you guys, I love our little family. Okay, get it together, Taylor, get it together. Here we go, here we go. Oh, what you're gonna do. You're gonna say a word that begins with S and means the opposite of what word I say here. So I'm going to say a word. You have to say the opposite of this word, and it starts with an S. All the answers start with S. Here we go. The first one is tall. Thank you, Silky. I appreciate that. Tall, not stop. <laughs> not sh Oh, yeah, short, short, yeah, short, short, sorry. I said no. I was like, no, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is short. Congratulations, lots of you got it. I saw RD say it first over on YouTube. The hardest word I've ever had to spell. I'm not sure, A-Train, I have to think about that. A-Train, how come you never come into the private Periscope broadcasts? I added you to the group. Hey, Hitman. It's short. Short, yep. Tall and short, because you're coming up with the opposite of the word I'm saying, and your answer has to start with an S. So I said tall, and you say short. So if you got that correct, then you give yourself two points. So it's two points for every correct answer for this one. There's 10 questions. The next one is North. <laughs> Trivia lag rules of law. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Chris. North. The opposite of North and it starts with an S. What goes on in a private? Today we straighten my hair, we put makeup on, we dance and listen to music while getting ready for this broadcast. Hey, snatch or not? That's fun to say. South, RD. Oh, wait. I saw RD, but I also saw... DJ Cripple, thank you for sharing on Twitters. Twitters. <laughs> and the real MJG, I saw you first over on um, Periscope. And thank you for inviting. And thank you for the super hearts. Eric, yes, you are the real MVP right now. South is correct. So if you got South, give yourself another two points. Next one is happy. What's the opposite of the word happy? And it starts with an S. Oh, you found me, Mark. Yay. <laughs> Lee said, do South. <laughs> Hey John, how are you? You said Southern? Yeah, yeah. Everyone who said South gets two points. For your, you guys have to keep track of your own score though. I'm not gonna, I can't keep track of score for like a hundred people. Sad, yes, woo, wood or woo. I see RD again on YouTube. Um, Wooderson, that's fun to say too. <laughs> Wooderson, wait, who's sending brown super hearts? Mark, thank you for the super hearts. They're such a look out, cause here I come. All right, all right, all right, all right. Number four. Different. Wait, did I say? Different. The opposite of the word different, and it starts with an S. How do you sign up for my privates? That sounds funny. <laughs> um, if you want to be in the private group chat, you have to be a gold level sponsor or above. So you have to be at this level, $50 or above. So all these people are in the private group chat. Hey, Darren, I'm good. How are you? Same. Yes, I see RD, but I actually saw 
The real MJG come in first, nice. And Periscope. So anyone who said the word same, you don't have to be first. Everyone who said same, give yourself two points. A train, thank you for the super hearts, my friend. Sorry if I'm missing some of your comments. I know I asked you a question, probably didn't see your answer because there's so many comments gonna be coming in, but we're on a deadline. It's 11, 11, make a wish. Um, we do have 49 minutes until Ruby goes live, so we gotta hurry up. Hey Shara, my love. Hey Vibrax, thanks for sharing this, Mark. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. I have more people on YouTube tonight. Yeah, good, Mark. I'm glad. Yeah, because we're trying to get the watch time up. Yeah, femyoga.com and click support. Mm -hmm. Hey. Same. Same is correct. So give yourself two points if you said same. Number five is dangerous. Opposite of the word dangerous, and it starts with an S. Similar. Um, yeah, similar. I would, I would accept it, Silky. I don't know if they did here, but... Dangerous. Safe, Dan on fleek on YouTube, yes. Let me see if they took similar. Where are the answers? Yeah, same or similar would have accepted. Yeah, they accepted similar here too. Number six, yep, yeah, everyone who said safe, you get two points. Two more points. Hey, Steve Campbell. Hey, Chris. Thanks for the super hearts. Yep, safe. Number six is big. What's the opposite of the word big that starts with an S? <laughs> What's my favorite word? I don't know, maybe ointment? <laughs> ointment, it's just fun to say. Small, Dan on fleek, yes! Hey, big worm, good to see you guys. I heard there were privates. Yeah, Bbrax, you're in the privates group too, I think, right? Thanks for the super hearts, Bbrax. Small, yes, Vita. Uh, oh, Mr. Coolbreeze, or no. Uh, wit have or with a vision wit have vision I said <laughs> with a vision yes you got it first on Periscope but you guys all everyone who got small two points so at this point you could have a maximum of 12 points number seven is dull what's the opposite of the word dull that starts with an S thank you Mark you're sweet a lot of first graders could this is supposed to be easy hey Wayne like trivia, yeah. Heart party, yes! Sharp, that's right. Yes, Dan got it first on YouTube, but I saw Shara say it first on Periscope. It is sharp, the opposite of dull. It just sounded funny. Yeah, I know, I know, it totally does. <laughs> Number eight is, no oh, and give yourself two points if you got sharp. Number eight is noisy, serrated. Oh, I like serrated. You just left the what, Wayne? I have 67 points for some reason. Who said that? Ed, oh my God, new Ed, you're so awesome. And this guy says, show beautiful breasts, angel cat. Show beautiful breasts, angel cat. Okay, can somebody please screenshot that comment? Because that comment is amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna block him now, okay. Oh my God, Ed, do you wanna block that guy? Don't be hot for teacher, Silky, you'll get blocked. Ed, true, you can block that guy. Do you wanna block him? I already blocked him, but you can block him again if you want. You can kick them, too, if you want. I should do, like, Family Feud one night. I've done Family Feud. We did Family Feud twice since I've lived here. And we're, the game shows are now on Saturday nights at 11 p.m. with Loom Burrito, games, and beers. I got distracted. Oh, yes, Wayne, thank you. There's a fitness center here where I live, and I want to start using it. That was it. Okay. Silent. Silent is right. Yes, Zach. I don't know who else said it, but I'm sure... I know what... Ser oh, wait. Serrating? Serrating instead of serrated. I know what a serrated knife is. Um, yeah, silent. I think Dan said it first on YouTube. If you did say silent, give yourself two points. Opposite of the word sit. What's the opposite of the word sit and it starts with an S? I don't know, Mark. I'll probably do game nights from time to time. This is kind of like a game. Because I want to or I need to. Just because I want to. Stand. Yes. Sola Solar. Yes. You got it first on Periscope. First one on YouTube was Dan on Fleek. Stand is correct. So if you said stand, give yourself two more points. And the last question here for a maximum of 20 points you could have gotten for this section, you get two points for every correct answer. If you got here late, it's okay. We're just getting a feel for what our vocabulary skills are like. The last one is receive. What's the opposite of the word receive? Bbrax is trying to get extra points by saying stand still. 
Oh look, but you can see my surge protector now. It's so ugly. Let me, let me stop spinning around. Let me just sit like this. Send, yes, Dan. No, it's gotta start with an S. Send, yes, Danny, nice, send. It is send. So if you said send, then you get two more points. Wayne, thank you for the super hearts. Fresh from the gym. Wayne, don't strain your finger muscles. Wayne, you need water, you need protein powder, you need muscle milk, okay? Stop tapping the screen, you're gonna give yourself an aneurysm. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the super hearts, Wayne. I'm just kidding with you. All right, send, yes. So all the answers really quick, just so you can see if you got the points correct, was short, south, sad, same or similar, safe, small, sharp, silent. He said I just cramped. <laughs> I cramped. He's like, oh. <laughs> Stand and send. So it's two points for every correct answer with a maximum of 20 points. Oh, thank you, Mark. Latent and active vocabulary. I like that, Mark Gage. Would you direct message me that if you think of it so I don't forget? Thank you. Is that you, A-Train? Thanks for all those super hearts. You guys are amazing. I love you right now. Wait, save your super hearts for Ruby too because Ruby's coming on in 43 minutes and she gets paid a bonus if she gets over a certain amount of super hearts. And we just hit 100,000 super hearts. I wish I had my cash cannons. We're gonna get cash cannons really soon. RD got 26 points. 26 is a very important number for me today. And then I did a call with Arturo and his important number today was 24. Finley, thank you for the super hearts. Finley, I followed you on Instagram today. Mm. She is cool, I love Ruby. Hey Julie, it's going so good, how are you? We're talking about vocabulary tonight. Next test, this is more advanced. Same thing, you're doing the opposite word of what I say, it starts with an S. All of your answers start with an S, this is gonna be more challenging. The word that you're looking for the opposite of is generous. Generous. Stop tapping into that. Okay, whatever, let's just stop moving stuff around. Oh, this way, this way. Okay, okay, okay. Generous. And on YouTube, but still good, yep. Stingy is good, but also selfish. I believe they accept both. Selfish or stingy. So I said selfish. Some people say stingy, either one of those counts, and you give yourself two points if you said selfish or stingy. Next word is meaningless meaningless. What's the opposite of the word meaningless that starts with an S? Sexy. It has to be an S word. Yep. Or Scrooge. Oh my god, we're dropping more stupid frames. This is pissing me off. I'm gonna lower my bit rate to like two. Let me just go to like old school periscope bit rate. Significant, yes, Dan, that was good. Hey, Darren, um, significant is correct, and also they said sensible. Sensible, I don't know why sensible. <laughs> Thanks for inviting your followers, Adrian. I need to turn my microphone down again because I'm really getting loud tonight. I'll turn down a bit, okay, there we go. Significant, so I said special, and that's not actually an acceptable answer, but in this world, it is for me, okay. Because special is opposite of meaningless, right? It's special, it has meaning. I don't know, maybe not. All right, next one, believing. What's an opposite, the opposite meaning of the word believing, and it starts with an S. You're believing or you are, or shh. <laughs> Skeptic, Fenrir, you got it, yeah, skeptical. I will allow special, well, thank you, thank you. Yes, it's gotta start with an S, Lord Monty. You might've just got here, but all the answers start with S. So skeptical or suspicious, Brianna, yes, yeah, suspicious, mm-hmm. <laughs> Dan said shit talker. <laughs> yep, RD, you got it too, mm-hmm. Still not sexy. You can keep trying sexy, but I'm pretty sure none of the answers are sexy. All right. What is the opposite of the word ugly? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. That's not one. That's not one. Okay, next one. The real next one. And remember, you're giving yourself two points every time you get a correct answer. Complicated. Complicated. 
the opposite of the word complicated that starts with an S. Brianna appreciates that I crack myself up. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> hey, Dama. Complicated. It starts with an S. If Fenrir, yes, yeah, simple. Simple is correct. And Brianna and Irk and Chris. Hey, Chris. Rosetti in the house. Yes. RD and Dan. Mm -hmm. Simple. All right. Number five, halfway through. I almost said the answer. Doubtful. Doubt. <laughs> Donna said, seasy. <laughs> Easy with an S in front of it. Seasy? Seasy? No. Doubtful. Doubtful. I'm not getting your answer, Skipper. I saw that comment. Sure, yes, Mr. Cool Breeze and RD. Sure is correct. So we're halfway through now. Two points for every correct answer. Give yourself two points for every correct answer. At this point, you could be up to a maximum of 10 points. Next word is careful. What's the opposite of the word careful that starts with an S? You didn't get it? That's okay. There's three potential answers here. Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> yeah. Nope, not safe. It's the opposite of this word. Slap hazard, sloppy, sloppy is correct. Yep, Dan got that one too. Sloppy, not safe, because safe means the same thing as careful. I like sketchy. But sketchy is not really, I don't know. I don't know if that would count or not. So the other options, sloppy, or you could have also said slipshod, or, oh, there you go, Chris got slipshod. Or you could have also said slovenly, slovenly. So that's two points if you said any of those three. S like a snake, like a snake. All right, all right. <laughs> the next one is wakefulness, wakefulness. A word that starts with an S that means the opposite of wakefulness. Sleepy, Dan, you got that. And Fenrir, you got that as well. Sleepy. You could also say, you could say sleepy. You could also say slumber. Omnolence means sleepiness, pretty much. Tired AF. <laughs> Next one, number eight, is rough. What's the opposite of the word rough? And it starts with an S. It's probably my connection. I don't know why we're dropping so many frames. I mean, I could try closing more stuff on my computer, but I don't really have anything open. All I have is the chat. I have a calculator. Okay, close the calculator. I only have my bitrate set to 800. The opposite of the word rough. I like soft, but soft wasn't one of the options. Slothful. Ooh, hey Marcus, I like that one. It's too late to think, Donna said. Smooth, you got it, Adrenaline. It is smooth, RD on YouTube. Yep, smooth. Yep, Random Rider, Finley. Some next tonight and sleep. Oh, okay, okay. Smooth, yep, I see you're being objective or you're being what? It starts with an S. Thanks for those pink super hearts. I can't see who they're from, but thank you. Thank you, Chris. Oh, you didn't mean to send the super hearts? <laughs> Subjective, Fenrir and Dan, yes. Smooth like smooth criminal, exactly, exactly. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Chris said smooth criminal too. No, Max Drago, quick and true, block him, block him. Is all the amounts on your screen from monthly subscribers? This is people from the last month, but they're not all monthly subscribers. So monthly means they have it set to auto renew every month, it just automatically comes out of their PayPal. Um, these people are maybe half monthly or so maybe maybe not quite all right last one so yeah the answer was subjective give yourself two points for subjective i can't add this late either <laughs> and the last one is the word laugh opposite of the word laugh and it starts with an s oh thanks fallon hey purple jacks we are doing a vocabulary test have some fun with us 
He said spacey. Hmm. What do you get for membership? It's all on the website. If you go to femyoga.com and click support, it's all written on there. So they only accepted two answers on here that I don't particularly care. There are monthly subscribers that help. Yeah, there is. RD wants to know if Dan has the book. That's true, Chris. It really does. Sob, Zach. Yes, Zach with the gold badge. Finley, you also said Sob. Wait, Zach, I want to show you something. Sob, and we also would have accepted Scowl. Sob or Scowl. So go ahead, add up your answers. You should get two points for every correct answer. So on number one, if you said selfish or stingy, you get two points. Number two, if you said sensible or significant, two points. Number three, if you said skeptical or suspicious, two points. Number four, simple for two points. I'm going to stop saying two points. It's two points for each of them. Number five was sure. Number six was slipshod, slovenly, or sloppy. But you don't get two points for each correct answer. It's just like for number six, you can get up to two points if you said any of those. Number seven was sleepiness, slumber, or somnolence. That's two points. Eight is smooth. Nine is subjective, 10 is sob or scowl, and you get two points each with a maximum of 20. So add up your first test to your second test and you can have a maximum of 40 points at this point. Hey Mark, I am doing well. I hope you're doing well too. I was in the middle of saying something, I'm pretty sure, but we're gonna move on to test number three. I don't really like this one though. Okay. We're gonna have to do this pretty fast. Let me just skip number three real quick. I actually don't know if we can actually do this whole test together. Because it's gonna be, maybe if I put it up on the screen. Let me put it up on the screen. Real quick. Real freaking quick. All right, let's um, put up a white screen. I'm not gonna read comments for a moment because I'm on a time crunch. Wait, I have color source already in here? You have 20 points, Darren, out of 40? Nice. All right, please don't crash. Don't crash on me. So here are the words. Let me unhide this so you can see them. Why can't you see them? Because they're written in white. Now they're written in black. No, they're not. They're supposed to be. Why isn't this going the way I want it to? I want to change black. I don't understand what's happening. Let's delete it and add a new one. That's in white. We're going to pick black. There we go. And I didn't spell it right. Good. Infidel. <laughs> all right. I'll make it bigger. After I type them all out quickly, infidel. Large, I'm going to say them out loud as I type them. Infidel, large, bulky, abduct, ingenious, happen, eccentricity, unsophisticated, occur, persuade, clever, induce, aberration, kidnap, un believer and ingenuous all right so let's pick our font size here let's go with the biggest that's probably a bit oh that's actually probably okay and then we'll take unbeliever and ingenuous and we will how do we Let's just go like that. And this. Unbeliever and ingenuous. 
sorry, I'm kind of doing this on the spot, and I'm definitely not doing a great job at it because I know that we have to be done in 28 minutes so Ruby can go live. So I am not reading comments and trying to just get this done in kind of a slipshod matter, manner, if you will. All right, that's bigger than the rest. I don't like how they're like not on the whole screen. How about over here? Okay. They're probably kind of under the comments, but what do you want me to do? You want me to go like this? Take some of these. Anyway, let me tell you what you're supposed to do. So you're supposed to take these lists of words and match them to each other. So what words, I just want to make sure there's nothing down there, mean the same as each other. So you're going to put a number next to each one that means the same as something else. So if you think infidel and large have the same meaning, then you're going to give them both a number one. Then if you think bulky and abduct have the same meaning, you're going to give them a number two. If you think ingenious and happen have the same answer, then you're going to give that a number three, and so on and so forth. Let me see how long you're supposed to have on this. 90 seconds, starting now. Oh, I'm going to open another beer. <laughs> you might have to hide the chat to do this. And it's okay. You don't have to actually write them down or write the numbers, but just get a feel for what you think, what words go together, and then I'll tell you in about a minute. There you go. Kimon Forbidden, she said large and bulky mean the same thing. Alberto says infidel and unbeliever. Hey, Alberto. Yeah, Jake, we have beer. I'm not drunk. Kidnap and abduct. Brit Butterfly. Nice. Mark says he knows some of, this, some of these words. And that's the thing is we're learning new words. We have infidel, large, bulky, abduct, ingenious, happen, eccentricity, unsophisticated, occur, persuade, clever, induce, aberration, kidnap, unbeliever, and ingenuous. All the words seem to be negative? I don't think so. Persuade and clever. Happen. Occur. Dan said bored. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. We're almost done. Three, two, one. I should have brought myself back right when I said that, shouldn't I have? But I wasn't prepared. I was not prepared. So you're just gonna have to get over it. Hey, how'd you guys do? How do you think you did? I'm gonna tell you what the answers are. And let me tell you what the pointing, scoring goes. Two points for every correct pair. So if you get two words, you guys can take screenshots, it's all good. I didn't go to college either, Mark. It's okay. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't finish. All right, anyway. Infidel and unbeliever. Did you guys get that one? Infidel and unbeliever. Next pair was ingenious and clever. Jake says beer and beer go together. Ingenious and clever. Third pair was occur and happen. It doesn't have to be in the right order either because I don't feel like they were in the right order. We're learning, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, random. Occur and happen. The next one is aberration and eccentricity. <laughs> Kidnap and persuade. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> aberration and eccentricity. The next pair is large and bulky. A lot of you guys got that one. The next one is persuade and induce. Persuade and induce. Next one is kidnap and abduct. I saw some of you guys getting that answer correct as well. Hey, Sarah. Persuade to kidnap. <laughs> Induce to abduct. And the last pair is unsophisticated and ingenuous. So if you think of ingenuous, it means like it's not genuine. Not genuine, ingenuous. And then ingenious means Think of the word genius, basically. It means that you're smart. Hey, Asian boy, how are you? Thanks, Rondo, I'm glad. So again, you get two points for every pair you had correct. Infidel and unbeliever, ingenious and clever, occur and happen, aberration and eccentricity, large and bulky, persuade and induce, kidnap and abduct, and unsophisticated and ingenuous. And remember, if you guys want this book yourself, here's the name of it. 
30 days to a more powerful vocabulary and I'm posting a lot of these words up on my Instagram channel as well Fem Yoga Taylor disingenuous beta <laughs> my Asian boy <laughs> all right I want to say Kevin like my neighbor's name all right we are not gonna have time to get all through all of these so I would have to type these two here we go let's do multiple choice all right so I'm gonna say the word okay here we go so if I say someone's having an acrimonious argument an acrimonious argument what does acrimonious mean is it a long-winded b sharp biting and sarcastic or c dull pointless and incoherent better give that snap girl no that's not kevin that's steven kevin's the guy i met today all right acrimonious means what a b or c a is long-winded b is sharp biting sarcastic and c is dull pointless and incoherent b joel yes and danny it is yeah i don't like facebook either some people have a blue wrench those people are moderators and sponsors or super fans soporific lecture a soporific lecture or soporific lecture s-o-p-o-r-i-f-i-c means what a b or c a so boring as to put one to sleep b brilliant and informative hey jeffrey or c well attended a soporific lecture is either a so boring as to put one to sleep there you go gentlemen b brilliant and informative and c well attended a b or c And every correct answer you get is another two points on this one. Alberto says B. I see a lot of A's. It is indeed A. RD, you got it. Hey, Aranz. I don't know how to say your name. Namaste. Namaste. So boring as to put one to sleep. That's what soporific means. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this next one correctly, but I'm just going to say it. A panacea. A panacea for social skills. A, does panacea mean direct cause? Does it mean B, a cure-all? All right, Jeffrey, that sounds good. Or does it mean C, a condition encouraging continuation? Panacea, you got it, Sarah, you spelled it right. Adrenaline says B, Silky says B. So you guys think panacea is a cure-all? Mark says cure-all, I see more Bs. It is indeed a cure-all, pretty sure, let's make sure. Yeah, it is a cure-all. A panacea is a cure-all. Number four, so if you got cure-all or B, you're gonna give yourself two points. Number four, an evanescent feeling. An evanescent feeling. Does evanescent mean A, fading away quickly? Does evanescent mean B, composed of both dread and desire? Or does it mean C, a sudden, oh, sorry, 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 no, that's the wrong one. So unique that it is experienced by very few people. No, I didn't darken my hair. It just looks really dark in this room for some reason. I think it's the lighting. I need more lighting over here. Exactly, Sarah, yeah, I'm thinking Evanescence, the band, right? Okay, Danny says A, fading away quickly. And that is indeed correct. Evanescent actually means fading away quickly. A, fading away quickly. So if you got that correct, give yourself two more points. And if not, that's okay, we're learning together. Number five, if you're overwhelmed by ennui, which is E-N-N-U-I, if you're overwhelmed with ennui, what are you overwhelmed with? Is it A, fear? Is it B, dissatisfaction and boredom resulting from inactivity? Or is it C, a sudden awareness of one's unconscious motivation? Ennui, A, B, or C. Fear is A, 
B is dissatisfaction and boredom resulting from inactivity. Adrenaline says B, that's correct. C is a sudden awareness of one's unconscious motivation. No, ennui is boredom resulting from inactivity. B is correct. If you got B, then give yourself two more points. Excuse me. It's fun, right? It's much easier when you're reading it too, by the way, so I recommend getting the book if you like this. Next one, number six, a facetious remark. Good night, Silky, aka my Wednesday night. Yes, can we have milk now? How do you spell that word? E-N-N-U-I, E-N-N-U-I, ennui. A facetious remark, is that A, witty or joking at an inappropriate time? Thanks, do. Is it B, tending to make peace between people in conflict? 